So basically what we're going to be making today is what they call a laminar flow hood. It's used in mycology to create a very sterile environment. If you're interested in growing um, or studying mycology or growing mushrooms um, inside of your house, these are the ones that I've been taking that um, are uh, have been having quite su good success with, except they're very expensive. So I want to grow mushrooms um, inside of the um, hack lab. So I'm looking forward to growing um, cordyceps, reishi, and lion's mane, the ones that are in this. So laminar flow hoods are around 1500 bucks, maybe they're $1,000. And I had this existing shop filter that had a HEPA filter already in it. It's a WEN, W-E-N, and that was approximately $100. And that produced or will produce the amount of energy I need for the fan. I also can use a conventional HEPA filter and it will go through a couple different filters and go out. So that's out of the box for 100 bucks is pretty good as my fan, but I needed to adapt a bin so I can create that sterile environment and the fan can come in the from the bin and it can go out the holes that my hands are using. So there's a positive clean airflow that's happening. I made three different parts for it. This is the laser cutter um, bracket or a frame that goes, that attaches to the fan. There's four different bolts that come outside of this. And then there is a gasket that goes over it. And then there is a top plate. Okay, so there's the top plate. Then I created a template to cut out the rectilinear shape of the bin. I also cut two different holes inside of the top of the lid so I can put my hands inside of it and work in this very clean environment. Now, in future videos, um, part of my, this hobby of mycology and studying uh, mushrooms and spores, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about actually making them. So if you're interested, I know my channel's everywhere, but um, it doesn't seem to matter. But today we're going to be making this and assembling it. So obviously the first thing I did was went through a couple different prototypes to get the frame right. I designed it in Adobe Illustrator, and then I went ahead and I cut this out in some old flooring that I got from the dump. So it's just basically old flooring materials are so expensive right now. And I went ahead and just spray painted it to seal it nice, uh, nicely up. This is the one before it is um, spray painted. Uh, and then I was a little bit nervous about the foam cutting out the gasket for it. And so what I did was remove the breadcrumb tray of on my Glowforge. And then I went ahead and the settings that I used were I chose 0.1 for the depth. And the settings I did were pretty, um, I think, a slower speed. I think I went around 200 and with 80. And I power. went ahead and assembled it. I first um, obviously put the four bolts inside of the back plate. And then I screwed in the screws to go ahead and attach that back plate to the fan. And then I went ahead and put the bin there. And then I went ahead and added the bolts. Now, I wish I would have tightened that first set of bolts a little bit more because that filter is um, the, the seal is really, it's really important to basically have a very, very tight seal. I also created my own little HEPA filters using, I'm going to replace these with something else, but I created my little filters using paper towels and put the paper towels inside of the laser cutter and used the paper settings that Glowforge now has. Probably the most successful part of this project is that it's done. I got the entire adapter plate working in this bin here and my hands fit through the bin quite nicely. So I'm able to go ahead and to add the spores that I need right inside of this chamber. You pretty much can use any positive airflow and I'm sure that the experts are saying that you need a ton of air movement, but if you really want look, you know, and you can see that, hey, there's actually positive airflow that comes out of these holes, it's better than doing it in open space. So there's a lot of details in terms of this process. That's not what this video is about. We created a really cool bracket that attached a shop fan to an existing 
bin that cost five bucks. We drilled two holes in it and I created everything it takes to create a sterile environment to start your mycology at home process. Anyways, hope this helps. And whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Love you. Take care. Have a really good fall.